thank you for attending and sharing together the, the key topic of this General Assembly, food system and gender, women's empowerment for food security and nutrition. Firstly, I would like to introduce the, the building in which you are this morning in its history that is a very important history. Well, Riau is uh, committed since 110 years, exactly this year, on October, uh, that, um, to achieve uh, um, providing a support um, for raising the quality in agriculture and international level. For 110 years, the Institute dealt with the rural development and food and nutrition security. Since its creation in 1904 by a small group of Italian agronomists, the role has been promote, to promote the, to the study of a tropical environment and agriculture and to implement vocational education and training in the agricultural field. Indeed, the idea for a such kind of institution is much more older because uh, it belongs to the Italian Renaissance, uh, began with uh, Leonardo da Vinci, you know, that established in Florence the focal point of the Italian scientific culture that was developing along the ages until the 1904. So the Institute uh, really uh, nowadays is a branch of the Italian Foreign Affairs and uh, International Cooperate, um, Cooperation and it's meant to support uh, its ministry in the field of tropical and subtropical agriculture and in environment. We can provide the service in different um, kind of, of branch, and especially in training, technical assistance, and documentation. At the beginnings of our history, this uh, institution was created to follow the Italian migrants uh, across the ocean, firstly beginning in the South America, like Brazil and Argentina, and then in Africa, in the new countries, well, Somalia, Ethiopia, Eritrea, teaching to our countrymen the best practices for cultivating in the best way the new lands that were a tropical lands, different than was their experience that they made in Italy. Well, I would underline this. In this area, the Institute wrote historical pages that shall remain in the history of tropical agriculture. And we are proud of this, our Institute. But indeed, the Institute is not really its history because it could have no sense. We have not attached to the past, but we have a living reality. With its project, the Institute is one of the main excellence in the world, exactly for some projects developed about the coffee, and especially in Central America. And not only in the coffee, because you know that coffee in Italy is a very important item. <laughs> but another item that is nowadays interesting for the Institute, Cosi has developed an important project about hard corn in Ethiopia the second branch of Italia, pasta is pasta. When you say coffee and pasta, I have told everything for the, about Italian history. And we are proud because these two projects will be the, the, the represent the Italian international cooperation at Expo 2015. Tom, I, I will be pleased if you're the participant will hold and share with us this incredible and interesting experience. Presently, the mandate of the Institute, which has become, in, uh, from last August, um, a part of the Italian Agency for Cooperation, is to, provi to provide training, advice, and technical assistance in the field of tropical and subtropical agriculture and environmental protection. Through bi bilateral cooperation projects and research programs in agriculture, YAO aims at the improving techniques and disseminating innovation in order to have better crops, reinforcing the value chain and consequently and changing the life condition for the beneficiaries through a sustainable development. This year, a Master of Science in Natural Resource Management for Tropical Rural Development is organized 
by EAO staff in collaboration with the University of Florence, and this is the first Italian experience in this field. This, co this, this course joined really two, two previous master courses that the Institute developed um, since uh, 40 years about the geomatic and tropical irrigation. And now they are, we have decided to join them for making a new step um, across the world necessities. And so I think that is also a chance for the people coming from developed countries to attend our master course. Well, Yao also in, um, provides policy advisory on rural development and fuel security to the Italian MAF and EC, analyzing uh, the international situation in order to align the actions with the needs of the partner countries and harmonizing the Italian policies with those of the other United, uh, UA countries. Well, in the line with the Italian cooperation guidelines, IAO has implemented and implements its uh, activities with a special attention to the crucial role of the women within the farmers and the small holders' farmers' economy. Well, I don't take the floor to Consigliere <coughs> De Chiara will explain better this um, point. Well, uh, begin at the end, I want only to mention uh, uh, the project founded by the Italian Ministry for Foreign Affairs named EAO Gender, a research project which was implemented by EAO in collaboration with other stakeholders beginning from 2010 until 2012 with the aim to provide tools for a gender um, reading key of the Italian cooperation projects on the offer suggestion and recommendation to ensure the quality of gender and changement of the role of the women in agriculture. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't take any more time to you and uh, to your important job, so immediately I want to give uh, the floor to Consigliere De Chiara to explain better my ideas. Thank you very much. Enjoy our presentation.